Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you five ways you're probably pushing love away without knowing it, so stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's edition is gonna be sharing with you five ways you're pushing love away without knowing it. Now, this video will give you some strategies you can start thinking about and implementing today. If you want to take them to the next level, they are actually a smaller version of my 41 minute masterclass where I share with you how you can create the kind of connection you want in a lot less time and with a lot less pain than you have in the past. All you have to do is go to the description of this video if you want to sign up for free. Now let's get started. The first way that you might be pushing love away without doing it is taking significant action without understanding the true cause as to why you haven't found love. Here's why that's pushing love away. Because if you have a blind spot that's not allowing you to create the kind of love you want and your strategy and your approach is to simply do more things, that blind spot is going to be magnified times the number of things you're doing to the point where you're going to feel like it's not possible. Why? Because I'm taking a lot of action and I'm getting even worse results than before. So the first step if you want to stop pushing love away is to understand the true core reason why you have not found the love that you want. Number two is holding on to false slash shitty beliefs and ideas that you start treating as universal loss. I connect with so many women who are going around with a set of beliefs that are complete bullshit in terms of why they can't find the love they want, but they start treating them as these are the, the universal laws of the Messiah <laughs> of some sort. So here's what I mean. If your belief is the city that I live in is the thing that's preventing me from finding love because it's too large or because it's too small or because it's medium sized and the guys are not super exciting, that's not the core reason why you're not finding love. If the reason you, I mean, the belief you have is because you're not beautiful enough, you're not smart enough, you're not attractive enough, you're not sexy enough, you're not fun enough, those are not real reasons. Typically, those are beliefs that you've stepped into in order to prevent yourself from getting hurt or from taking more action. And if you treat them as reality, then they become reality for you. Number three is showing up with a fraction of your light. The third way that women push love away unknowingly is when they show up with a tiny fraction of their light, their awesomeness, their passion, their power. And they, again, magnify this times multiple experiences. The kind of resonance they create is not the one that's gonna be optimal for more guys to say, let me take this further, let me connect with you more, let me learn about you, let me get uncomfortable and ask you on a date, let me face rejection potentially, but it's worth it because for this level of radiance, I'll take the risk. If you show up consistently with a tiny fraction of your light, a tiny fraction of your radiance, then you don't generate enough intensity to get the kind of interest and the kind of attraction that you want. Now, am I saying that it cannot happen? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's going to take a lot longer usually than if you show up with your full light. Number four is second guessing yourself in order to be more likable or rejected less. So here's what I mean. A lot of women feel that who they really are is not, it's weird or far out there or different. So if they were to show themselves that way, then nobody would like them. So they morph themselves into this vanilla ice cream that no one really wants, right? Well, I'm not saying vanilla ice cream is bad, but if you're chunky chocolate road ice cream, or if you're a raspberry with blueberry ice cream and you show up as vanilla, then the kind of guy that you want is gonna pass you over because he's looking for chunky road or he's looking for raspberry blueberry, right? So if you subdue your awesomeness, subdue your far out there-ness, if you wanna call it that, in order to be rejected less, guess what happens? You're rejected more because only the guys who don't resonate with your truth are gonna be the ones who show up for vanilla. The guys who like vanilla will show up for vanilla. The guys you want are gonna show up for somebody else. Number five is having the wrong idea as to what love and what love isn't. Why is this important? Why does this push love away? Well, because if you have the wrong idea of what love is, then you show up in relationships. You show up in principle in a way that's unsustainable and needy. Uh, there's two fundamental ways you can look at relationships. Number one is, Life is incomplete 
you guy will complete me. <laughs> and that's all there's to it. That's one way. Second way is my life is complete and awesome. And I want to help expand on the greatness with your presence. So one of them is you have what you need and you want to enhance it. The other one is you're lacking and you want to complete yourself. One of them is needy. The other one is expansive. Choose wisely. <laughs> Hope this is helpful, useful and insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. My dear, number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel so you can continue getting more of these insights every week. And number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop up that will allow you to sign up for a master class that I have that will share with you how to create kind of love, passionate and devotional that you've been looking for. Now, all you do when you click on that link is it's going to take you to a page that has a yellow bar. You click on the yellow bar, it prompts you for your name and email. And when you supply those, you start watching the video immediately. Hope uh, this is helpful to you. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.